Hello everybody, welcome to another Oil Washington rant. This is my uh, current event rant. Uh, personally, I was trying to hold out on doing a current event rant until I finished my, um, my um, series about the law of love. But due to um, certain circumstances and stuff like that, uh, I want to go ahead and jump into this on uh, current event rant, which um, uh, honestly, this on uh, current event rant actually ties in to one um, about what I was talking about, about the law of love, which I will f finish that series at, at another time. Well, first of all, it's, it's been a whole lot that be going going on lately, huh? A whole lot of stuff that be going on in, in this, um, in the United States and in the world too, you know? A um, whole lot of crazy stuff that be going on. The, the weather being real crazy. Um, God got some new laws that that uh, came together. What's the latest one? Oh, the um the the um, homosexuality uh, law that been passed, or as they call it, the gay marriage has been put into place where all 50 states will now honor gay marriage. Um, well, what what else we got going on? Oh, the the the, the um the black versus white issue that's going on in in uh, Texas and other states and stuff as well. Whole lot of stuff that been been going on lately that I haven't really been talking about. I pay attention to it, but I purposely um, don't um, talk about it at the current time because it, it requires a, a deeper detail, you know what I'm saying, a deeper um, conversation or a rant for that. But due to the circumstances, I want to go ahead and just jump into that real quick. Real quick question. For, for for everybody out there, and I know people been keeping up with with everything that's going on. I know we even got um people who are, who are called quote unquote um, conspiracy theorists. I know we got people out there that's called quote unquote pro, pro black. Um, you know, um, uh, the LGBT community, all this stuff there that's out there. But quick question for every for everyone. Well, I want y'all to think about this question too when when I say it now. Here's my question for you. What well, what do every last one of these things have in common? Let's pay attention to uh, to all the events that that transpired. Uh, we 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 had um, uh, in the state of Texas, we had really really bad weather, and there, there wasn't no you know dust out the blue thing. The, the weather was really really bad, uh, and this not only happened in Texas, but it happened in different other states as well. Uh, keep that in mind. Um, we, we've been having different racial riots, or as they call it, racial wars, that's been going on. Um, we, we've been having the, having the wars between uh, uh, police officers and the citizens that's going on. Uh, we, we've been even have religious wars that 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 been going on as well. You know, and, you know, we of course we've been having. Uh, um, gender wars as well, which is this deals with the LGBT community and you know homosexuality and, and the like. Now, my question is, what do all these things that I mentioned and even more have in common? What do they all have in common? I'm, I want to um, share something with, with y'all on this rant, and I and I just want you to have an open mind about this uh, when when I say this, and and just like I say, uh, uh, I'm being. In this particular rant, I'm being uh, completely um, open-minded, you know, unbiased, and just being real about it, okay? So, let's start off with this. Let's, let's take it back to um, back in the day. Uh, back in the day, and I'm, and I'm just summarizing stuff, back in the day, and stuff on, we, we had what was, um, where we had what was known as the, um, Yeah, we, we, we had what, what was known as uh, equal rights. The, the equal rights uh, came about, the equal rights law came about uh, when, just to give you a quick summary about this, when first of all, when um, different women, they wanted to have the right to um, vote and they wanted to have the right to work due for the fact that their men was out in the wars and stuff. So they wanted to have their right to do that and stuff to take care of and provide for their family because they didn't have that. At first, you know what I'm saying, because um, the United States was was a strong Christian-based um, country in that time, and so once we, once with this on rights was passed and stuff, um, um, it started. It was a good thing, but 
also is a bad thing as well. It started, it opened up what we call a Pandora's box. Uh, from that point, um, as, as you learn in history and stuff on uh, um, different uh, blacks, um, what was going through being, you know, in slavery and stuff like that and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They, they were some been, still being tried as slaves, they have been treated as slaves and, and the like. And so, which that that uh, credit the uh, you know the the movement for the black people, which is you know like the underground railroad, uh, the heroic things that uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and all these uh, heroic leaders did for freedom, you know what I'm saying, or for equal rights and stuff, you know what I'm saying. So all, all these things took place and uh, and passed, and eventually uh, they they got adapted to the, uh, blacks got adapted to the equal rights, where they had the same rights as any other citizens in the United States, where they had the right to vote, they had the right to uh, choose whatever type of employment, they had the right to not be a slave, and they had the right to believe what they want to believe for some freedom of speech and religion, you know. Um, so. Mentioning about all these rights, it has a, a certain trend that's in common that I want to share with you. It's a, uh, let's um, go even further now. You know what I'm saying? The, the equal rights is still going on as is into this day right now. We're within the equal rights, uh, the new right came about uh, where, where you know, we have uh, feminist women group and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where they fight for women's rights, you know, due to like domestic violence or anything like that that's happening. So these groups exist and they demand their rights as well. And stuff, and according to the law, it was granted. Um, and also for further down the line and stuff, on, that's when um, uh, homosexuality and stuff in the LGBT community was, was created due to rights of discrimination as well, you know what I'm saying? So they start asking for equal rights as well. So um, fast forward all the way to now where we had in 2015, they, um, the, um, the LGBT community finally won the, uh, the appeal for them to have same-sex marriage and stuff. So I'm mentioning all this and stuff on for a reason. The reason why I'm mentioning this um, is because there's a certain um, trend and stuff that's that's not happening and stuff right now and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And and this thing I want to mention too. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all are uh, familiar with the with the with the um, with really Willie Lynch and stuff on um, where. In other words, this, this man uh, created, really let's created a system for the slaves and stuff, right? Where he literally um, programmed the slaves, the slaves psychologically to be against each other, you know what I'm saying? So how he did it is, just long story short, he uh, created harsh environments uh, where can mess with their uh, they, they psyche, they, psych they uh, mental and stuff, right? Um, so he put them in harsh labor, horse slavery, he beat them and, and the like and stuff to try to program or as we say desensitize the, uh, the, the black slaves. So the reason why I'm mentioning about the, the really lynch is because right now there is a new modified version of the really lynch that's happening right now. And the modified version of the really lynch that's happening now is known as the MK Ultra Project. The MK Ultra Project is basically um, when, when they take certain soldiers or individuals and they literally do the same thing. They put, them, put their mind into a psychological mindset and so where it's desensitize their mind so much to a point where they be as though they be programmed like zombies and stuff where they just do things and they don't even understand why they do the stuff that they do, but they do it and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So. The, the uh, Willie Lynch thing and the MK Ultra thing is all tied into everything that's going on right now. The ultimate goal right now, what people is fail to realize, and even in different groups, I, uh, like I, I know that you know, I see uh, a lot of pro, pro black groups, uh, pro you know, whatever groups that's out there, so no cool, fine. But the thing about it is that you are, pro, you, you are actually being programmed into the MK Ultra project. How you been programmed to that? 
Look at the social media right now and so far. Every social media part, when when you when you type in certain things about you know being like pro black pro right, whatever stuff like that, the media like social media like Facebook and stuff like that. It saves your information, then it transmit that. Then what it do, it comes back and goes back into your page. Then all of a sudden, you start getting a subtle image of different things that you like or that you're interested in. And they keep blinking into your page, blinking, 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 to create a certain, certain type of uh, level of hate for, you know, whatever that is that's going on. And, and many of y'all, y'all probably looking at this random and think I'm lying. And, but no, nah, I'm not lying. Many of y'all, y'all got, uh, I'm showing this red on Facebook right now. I guarantee that if you look at your Facebook page right now, certain things that you do put in Facebook and stuff, they call them ads. And so, but them ads is big. The, the ad is bigger than that. You know, like the Walmart ads and stuff like that because you like the Walmart or you like it a musical person and stuff like that. It works the same way. When you type in certain stuff about, hey, I don't like gay people, then it gonna start showing you different links about you not liking gay people and stuff or it gonna show different links about whatever religion you believe in and what they're doing is a mk ultra global project that's going on that that is programming programming everyone you know what I'm saying it's programming their mind to think a certain way and stuff you know what i'm saying and and once we think a certain way you've been programmed you've been desensitized in other words you and so at that point you become tunnel vision you know what i'm saying where you just see only one Spectrum on one side of the story, and that's it. And you don't, and you, and you not allow your mind to see the whole bigger picture of everything that's going on. Now I'm running, running out of time and stuff, and, and it looks like I'm gonna have to do a part two of this too, which I think I'm gonna do it. But this is the whole big picture of what's really going on. And stuff, and you know, you, you can call it a conspiracy theory, you can call it whatever and stuff, but it's my personal, humble opinion about what's going on. What is what, what's really going on is this look at everything that's been going on, everything what everything is being targeted by, it's been targeted by race, gender, creed, religion. And different stuff like that. Where do you find all that stuff? In the law, where do you find all that at? Race, gender, you know, religion and all that stuff. In the United States Constitution. My brothers and my sister, what is really going on is that everything that's going on is for a plot to totally eliminate the United States Constitution. In other words, to create a brand new constitution because they have every right to create a new constitution when the old one becomes obsolete. How do it become obsolete? It's not through the, the legislators, but it's through the people. When the people start writing, when the people start saying, hey, this is not right, this is a, is a fur, this stuff is going on and stuff, you just forfeited your right of the constitution. So that gives the legislator every right to want to ratify a new constitution. And I want y'all to think about that.